This is exercise one from the FRX Report Design Essentials 1 and is presented by Noah Mosley of the MSX Group. In exercise one, which is located on page 16 of the FRX manual, uh, we'll be creating the detailed trial balance. This will involve creating a new row format, uh, a new column layout, and a new catalog. The things to mention about the row format, column, and catalog. In the row format, uh, all accounts will be displayed, all the balance sheet and all the income statement accounts. There will be underscores at the bottom underneath the middle column for monthly balance and year to date. And there's a total debits and credits row at the bottom. The column layout will have three columns, one's for a description. The middle column is for a monthly balance. The right-hand column is for a year to date total. And the catalog will have a report date set for December 2006. Uh, it will also be set to display all zeros and include rows with no amounts. I've got an open instance of F4X on my screen. The first thing we'll do is the row format. I'll open up row formats. I'll select new. This will open up a blank row format for us. And to get all the accounts on the page for us, we'll go to edit up top and add rows from chart of accounts. We'll accept all the default settings click OK here and FRX will build the row format for us with all the accounts that we have for all the balance sheet and income statement accounts. Now we'll go through this process, we'll delete everything in column E. There's a lot of C's here for trial balance. We don't want anything changing um, signs. So we're just going to highlight everything in column E and then I'll right click and select clear or press the delete key on the keyboard. Now I do need also at the very bottom of this row format underscores and a total row. So I'll go to the bottom, I'll do the down arrow key on the keyboard twice. It'll add two new rows for me and it'll also automatically add row code numbers for me in column A. On the second to last column uh, row I need underscores. I'll select that for column C as a format code. The bottom row will be our total so I'll type in column B's description of total, debits, and credits. The format code for that row will need to be a TOT format code, so it's going to be an addition of rows. And this will be a range calculation. The formula goes in column D. It will be everything from row code 100 to row code 1480. That's all I need to do for my row format. I want to save this definition. The name of it will be TB underscore DTL. Description can be anything. I'll just type in trial balance detail. Now that's saved for us, I'll go ahead and close out of this row format definition. And the next step will be to create our brand new column layout. I'll click on column layouts. Uh, instead of selecting one, I'll do the new button for this. And I'll need three columns for this detailed trial balance. Column A will be our description column. And B and C will both be GL type columns. Now when I pick GL, it goes ahead and it fills in several rows below it. And these are okay uh, as they are for column B. But for column C, I did need to change it to tell that this will be not current balances, but a year to date balance. And I also need headers for columns B and C. Up at the very top, column B, there's a drop down. I'll select an, a code for this, which will be the at month, so that this column will always display the month for which it's run. Now in column C, this column, the header will always be YTD, so I'll just hard code or type in YTD, press enter, and that will never change no matter what month you run the report for. Let's go ahead and click Save. We'll save this as current, so you are underscore YTD. The description can be anything, I'll just call it current and YTD. Now we can close out of this column uh, layout definition. And the last I have on this exercise on page 17 uh, will be the catalog. It's going to be a new catalog. The catalog ID uh, will be TB underscore DTL. The description just to the right of that will be detailed trial balance. Make sure we change the report date to 
December 2006. That's what the demo data is for. Pick your building blocks, a row format we just made was TB underscore DTL. And the column layout was current underscore YTD. Okay. Now we also need to go to our port options tab. There's two check boxes on the left hand side here. We will uncheck the one that says display blanks for zero amounts. And then right below it, one that says display rows with no amounts, we'll check that box. Go ahead and save your new catalog definition because you can't generate this until you save it. And then we'll click generate report. FRX will go out, run the report, and it should generate and match the screenshot that we have on page 16 of the manual. Please verify those results. Check your definition against the um, instructions in the manual. I'll close out of the drill down viewer and I'll switch back to close out this session for us. If you have any questions, our website is msxgroup.com. We have offered training classes on FRX as well as we sell the manuals for the classes and we also have free webinars. We have a group on linkedin.com for Microsoft FRX users. And feel free to email me at noah.mosley at msxgroup.com. Thank you.